So it would be, um, for me, it'd be really useful to, um, I guess, uh, come up to speed on current status of, of Augur, um, understand, uh, is it ready for us to, to start drilling down to, you know, uh, play around with value metrics on Augur, what the, what the roadmap is, th th those sorts of things. Okay. Um, let's see. Hi there, everyone. We have we have data and APIs. The current, just the most current version of the API docs are. Uh, process the issues while I look into that. Uh, Kevin, do you want to, or Andy, do you want to, are there any issues or anything that we need to process with regards to the metrics release? Uh, let's have a look. I would say yes. Okay. Um, okay. I think as, as far as the three metrics go, I think maybe we, we should take this moment to maybe go and look at them on the, the website okay. and just sign off on them. It sounds great. And then uh, in uh, issue 27, I made a I made a comment earlier today uh, that I think we should discuss as well. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so. I'd be okay with making that change personally. So which issue I'll be on? <laughs> We're looking at uh, number 27. Okay. Kevin made a comment uh, about 25 minutes ago there, which, which I actually agree with 100%. Uh, just changing the name. Yeah. Okay. And then the uh, the, the follow up uh, is that the the question no longer reflects the objective of the metric. So, I think I missed the I missed the last value meeting, uh -huh. uh, and I th I think this one this one was edited pretty heavily during that. Yes, it was. Uh, mm -hmm. So the the question no longer reflects the uh, the objective or the information within that detail page. Okay. So the question currently is which organizations are using this project? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's have a look. Okay. Um, Uh huh. Okay. Uh, so it's kind of a two-part question. Um, uh, let's see. On the on the README for living wage, it says organizational impact, and the question is: Are organizations using this project? How can I invest my skills and time to get a decent-paying job in the future? Where is that at? Uh, let's see what look here. It's here. 
is it in the in the detail page? Is it? Uh, it's the README of the Living Wage um, of the Living Wage. Oh, oh, gotcha. Uh, so the the question that I'm looking for is the question that is associated with organizational impact. Yes. Uh, yes. Metric itself. So not just the living wage, but the, the one that specifically relates to organizational impact. Yeah, so it is, um, so we, we did edit it pretty heavily and, and I would say the uh, kind of the definition of, or, or the articulation of what we're trying to get at has, has definitely shifted over time. The intent here, I believe, is how can I invest my skills and time to get a decent paying job in the future. That's, that's, that is, if, if I had to boil it down to one thing, that is the thing that, the, the, the metric that I wanna deliver for contributors is a metric that shows where can you best invest your skills and time to get a decent job in the future. And so presumably the answer is, well, you're gonna invest your skills and times into projects that have high organizational impact, where, where organizations have high dependency, where it's, it's critical to an organization uh, enough that they'd be willing to pay for support services and, and, and hire developers to help them with that. So that's, um, uh, that I believe is the intent. Okay. And we have been wrestling a little bit with how to express that concisely. And I suppose we haven't quite done that yet. Okay. Uh, for, for, this, for this metric, since we're, since we're shortening the title, yes. uh, how about we just take all that information that we're shortening and throw it into the question? So rather than the question being which organizations are using this project, we can say, what is the downstream organizational impact of project software? Yes, yes that, that seems perfect to me. Mm-hmm. But, but that question is difficult to understand. So as someone who looks at organization impact and then the question reads, what is the downstream organization impact? It's uh -huh. redundant. And I'm like, um, what does that even mean? Um, well, if you, look at, if you look at the metric itself, the formula for that is number of issues created, number of pull requests, number of downstream projects, number of blog posts, number of open hiring requests, number of meetups, number of books on Amazon, uh, Google search trends. Yeah. So, so, the, so the, the, metric, the metric describes what that means. Yeah, and I, so I understand that. The, I think the formula is reversed it should be number of organizations that file issues, number of organizations that create pull requests, number of organizations that depend on the project, number of organizations that post blog posts, and so on and so forth. I think we need to, sorry, I, I'm not trying to change the entire metric, but that is the path forward that I see. And we can leave it which organizations are using this project as a question and then change the formula to match that. And I think if we do that, the examples down below, they're also looking at which projects. Okay, I see, I see what you're, I see what you're, you're doing there, but I still think the, the which organizations using this project is a, that question is a very specific, that's, like which organizations it doesn't uh, it doesn't talk about how they're using them, and I think the this metric the way it's described currently is not just a which organizations are using it, but it's also a, a how are they using it or what is the actual impact of them using it. Yeah. So the question would still have to change even if if even if edits were made in the uh, in the formula. I'm going to create a pull request on the formula to change those. And then we can talk about the pull requests specifically.
is there is there a consensus on changing the question to what is the downstream organizational impact of projects of a project software or uh, is that uh, is that out? It's okay with me. Uh, sure. Is there, do you have a better question? Um, so how about something like, um, how, how many organizations are uh, using this project and could be potential employers? Okay, so that's a count. That doesn't reflect the, that doesn't reflect the metric. Right, so this is okay. a composite metric. If we're just talking about a count, then. So I, the, the problem is the question has to reflect that this is a composite metric. Okay, so what organizations are using this project and could hire me if I learned this, the skills, something like that? That way we have that getting hired aspect in that question. I like that better. So How many organizations are using this project that could hire me if I learned is this? Is this, is this, this metric is only tied to hiring? There's no other use for it? Well, uh, you know, hiring or, or contracting or, you know, doing something that would allow me to, allow me as a contributor to generate a cash flow. I suggest we keep it narrow for now and then in the next iteration, if people have ideas for other uses, then we can always expand it in future releases. Yeah, I think I think hiring is good is a good proxy for, you know, all all forms of um, of uh, you know revenue that you might generate. So the sentence I wrote down here is, how many organizations are using this project that could pay for services or hire me if I learn the skills? It's still kind of a mouthful. <laughs> well, I, th I think that's fine for the question. Uh, some, of the, some of the questions for some of the other metrics are, are that long. So okay. I don't... Uh, Sean and Georg, are you, would you be good with that sentence? Did you, what did you write it? Did you put it in the chat by any chance or in the I'll document? Let me put it in the chat. I'm just. We should probably use our minutes document for these things. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, there it is. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Or what is the demand for skills from this project in organizations? I like the second one better. How many organizations are using this project and could hire me if I become proficient? That to me is more straightforward and gets to the heart of what we want this metric to express. Okay, so from reading the description, it's not clear to me, it's not clear to me initially that uh, that's what this metric is. So maybe we can maybe we can edit the description a bit to align with that question. I think the uh, the objective matches. And then I would also I would also say that organizational impact doesn't reflect what this metric is either. At organizational that point. demand. Yeah, yeah. I think that that's uh, I think that's uh, better. How about project skill demand as a name? Like project skill demand works. There are several other metrics that use three to four words in a title, so don't feel it has to be Two, two words or okay and then I also so let's see I'm I'm working in the minutes document revising the description right now I 
while we're in a while we're in a pause, uh, we should uh, we should sign off on the other two metrics as well. If they're if they're ready for release, we should close those issues. Okay. Shall we finish this one first, real quick? So right now we have Certainly. change change for uh, the title. Yeah. I'm proposing project skill demand in yep. organizations. Maybe we should say in organizations. Since we can have. Yeah. So that's where my vote is. Um, or, or organization project skill demand. Ah. Huh. We can do that. Organizational project skill demand. Yeah. That way the focus is still on organizations. Yep. Rewrite question to how many organizations are using this project and could hire me if I become proficient. Yeah. Description as organizations engage with open source projects through use and dependencies. This metric is aimed at determining downstream demand of an open source of skills related to an open source project. This metric looks at organizations that deploy a project as part of an ID infrastructure, other open source projects that declare dependencies and reference and references to the project through social media, conference mentions, blog posts, and similar activities. Um, proposing. I think that's good. Okay, proposing a revised formula, the number of organizations. For the description, I like that. Yeah. Uh, proposing formula, number of organizations that create issues for a project, that create pull requests for a project, that publish blog posts and or tweet about a project. I'm gonna change this, that blog or tweet about a project. Number of organizations that mention a project and open hiring requests. Number of organizations that are represented at meetups about a, the project. Number of projects that depend on a project. Number of books number of other projects, depending on a project, number of books on Amazon, number of books about a project, and Google search trends for a project. What do you think? I like it. Uh, for number of projects that are dependent on a project, can we just say, can we just say the number of project uh, dependencies? Then we have to say downstream dependencies. Number of downstream uh, I, dependencies. I think that's fine. I think that's uh, a little. It's shorter. I don't know if it's easier to understand, but that's fine. We can always explain to people what we mean by that. Here, you want me to change it? I prefer the first wording, actually. What's that? I said I, I preferred the original wording. Okay, should we get rid of other? I put other in there to make sure that it is not including the one that it's not including itself yeah. for clarity. I understand it's redundant. Okay, I'll create a pull request with all of these changes. That's great. Tag me, tag me in that pull request and I will uh, make the necessary changes on the website. Excellent.
uh, are you going to change the name of the uh, the file as well? Um, yes, I can do that. Oh, okay. I probably should change the name of the file. Are we using underscores? No, everything else is hyphens. So you probably know it better, Kevin. Underscores or hyphens? Uh, everyone except evolution is using hyphens. I think evolution is using underscores. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna preview the changes. Okay, please do not merge this pull request quite yet because I'm, I still need to update the table and stuff, the links inside the project. Okay, pull request created, it's 38. Um, but again, I still need to change the links inside the project. If we want to move on, I'll, I can finish this pull request later. Okay. So we start looking at, um... Issue number 28. Yep. Uh, I don't think there are any active issues for this, this one. No. But I'm gonna, let's, ch let's check it on the website real quick. This is Project Velocity, right? Yes, Project Velocity. The link, the link issue that is mentioned in the issues has been fixed. Uh, the images all look good. Yeah, all, all the links on the site uh, on the page are good. Thank you. 
I guess if, 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 if we all feel that this project is ready for release, I would say comment, comment as such on the issue and close it. Everyone okay with that? I haven't looked at the metric. Okay. But if you all say it's ready, I will just say yes. Yep, I'm ready. Okay, I am closing. Okay, shall we look at number 29, labor investment? Yep. So in the question, we talk about common commits, issues, pull requests, but when we get down to the formula, we only talk about issues. So either we change um, the question and then we have a caveat somewhere that this can be expanded to include others or we change the formula to include the other examples. Let's change the formula. Yeah. We yeah, can just I say plus one that, that change the formula. Okay. Um, I'm in the meetings document now. Um, issue 29. We can just call it contributions. Yeah. Okay. Can I go back up to number of contributions broken out by contribution types? Do we want to link to, I want to give an example like that? Yep. I like it. All right.
So, what do you all think about this? I like it. I think future future documents could link specifically to the uh, the metrics detail pages that are uh, that are described there. But uh, I don't think we should I don't think we should include that now. I think it should be a little uh, more uh, casual. I agree. And then I changed this uh, formula at the bottom, labor investment equals for each contribution type, some number of contributions times average labor hours to create contribution times average hourly rate. And we could create a scientific display of this, but I think it's understandable what we mean. I know for the, for the, I will say this, this isn't completely, uh, this is a little bit off track, but uh, I think it seems to me that value is working a little bit more on the composite metrics than any of the other work groups. Uh, yes. And for, pardon the, pardon the pun, but I think uh, for this group, I think there might be uh, value in uh, for the next release digging into these composite metrics uh, even more and like really, really fleshing out the, these two composite metrics that we've created because there's a lot more detail we can add here. Uh, and, uh, and even linking them to the, uh, some of the other metrics that already exist. Yes, very true. So, right. Rather than moving on to completely new metrics, I think there, there'd be a lot of value in, in digging into these even deeper. Yeah, there's, a, there's the idea of a composite metric and also what we've called a parameterized metric, which is, you know, here's your, here's your metric that comes from the repos and then overlay onto that your, your own labor rates or, you know, the, the right. The metrics that come from your organization that are unique to your situation. And there's also the uh, in the in the last meeting there was discussion of the uh, uh, the the dashboard metrics, right? Which are similar to the composites, but they're uh, uh, I forget what those are being called. Uh, Sean, do you remember what those were what those were being referred to as? The, the Composite metrics. So it's similar to the composite metrics. It was discussed in the uh, in the this last community meeting. So these are the the metrics or the the groups of metrics that are tied to a dashboard and are being used by uh, used by individuals. Oh yeah. So we talked about we talked about the difference between collections of metrics and composite. Collections, yeah. Right, and then the difference yeah. is that collections are, I'm going to group these eight metrics together and show you all of them in one set. And uh, so that's right. a, a composite metric is, is um, where I'm going to say, I've got these eight metrics, and I want to create a single metric from them, possibly applying weights to right. each metric so that I get sort of a common overview and possibly doing some kind of C-score normalization. So a composite metric tries to reduce the amount of information that an end user has to process. A collection of metrics are just right. metrics that are used together. I think there's probably a practical path from collections of metrics to composite metrics, but those probably are very localized and they emerge from um, use of the collection. So after you've used collections for a while, I think you develop, if you're really using them, you get a heuristic understanding of how you want to weight things or how you're thinking about things. Thank you. That, that was a really good uh, explanation. Yeah, somebody write that down. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be able to explain it that well. Or, or recording. I think, uh, oh, we're recording. Good. Oh, we are recording it. Good. Yeah. Good. So somehow... I think as, as we continue to talk about composite metrics and collections, I think it would be very helpful to have a, 
an understanding of the difference between the two and how they relate to one another uh, across all the working groups. And uh, I think that was very good. So yeah, maybe we can, if that, if that wasn't caught in the notes, maybe we can revisit it in the video and, and capture it. Excellent. I'm finishing up the pull request with our updated formula. Can you change the, the question to have um, contributions as the main thing and then use the um, examples for them? Here, I'll post it in the documents so you know what I'm talking about. Create the counted contributions. Yeah, that's that's clear. Yeah, I would I would uh, plus one that. Uh, Fine with me. Excellent. And uh, are you are you going to do that pull request as well? Yes, I'm working on it right now. Okay. And I would say once again, can you can you tag me in that? pull requests so that I can make the changes on the website side. Yep. Okay, just give me one moment. I want to update also the table that this is based on. Oh, that, that links to it, the focus area table. Okay, table is also updated. Excellent. I think both pull requests are ready to be merged. Can someone please review? Andy, can you review them and merge them, please? So I don't know if you're trying to speak any because you're muted. I, I, I was speaking. Uh, okay, merging the first one. Excellent. Thank you for merging them both. Everything is merged. I'm changing the links in the issue for organizational project skill demand. Yes, that's true. And then, yeah, you have to change the URL also for the metric. Yep. And the URL in the table and ooh, Kevin, you're doing so much work. Yep. Thank you for doing all that and shepherding this release.
Okay, the issue is updated. Oh, no worries. So we can close both of these issues now? Do we want to close it now or get it up on the website and look at it there? And then close it? I can, uh, if you wait just a second, I'll have it up on the website. I like the question much better. How many organizations are using this project and could hire me if I become proficient? Yeah, I think it's straightforward now. Yeah, it's much better. I also changed the title of the issue for organization project skill demand. Okay. I love the GitHub platform. I just linked the pull requests and the issues together. It's so nice. I'm almost done. I am just going to uh, push the changes to the website, if that's okay. Yes, of course. There's no reason to have a review process for that. So I look forward to uh, our session, Andy, at the Open Source Summit and talking about these metrics. Same. Do you want to get together beforehand and um, develop a strategy or plan or some slides or something? Uh, yes, I'd like to do that in the next week or two. Uh, I think that would be excellent. What's your availability next week? Uh, 
How's about it? Thursday, August 1st? In the afternoon? Yes. Yep, I'm, I'm available. What time would you prefer? Oh, it's, it's wide open. Why don't you send me an invite? Okay. Um, how about 2 p.m. your time, 4 p.m. my time? That'd be great. Excellent. Okay, please take a look on the, the website. To make sure those changes are reflected. This page needs to be updated, Kevin. And I'm not sure if this Which comes page? From, uh, I just posted the link uh, where it says focus area living wage. Oh, okay. Um, the metrics, uh, metrics candidate release page. So let's see, you click on metrics and then you scroll down to the bottom. Uh -huh. And it says, okay, the very bottom of that page says focus area living wage. Uh -huh. The metric still says organizational impact. Oh, try, uh, try refreshing. Okay. It looks clear on my side. Okay. There, there, it, I think it, that's, I think it's cached on your end. Okay. That's what, that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like I like these changes. Uh Okay, we have two minutes left. And you should have a calendar invite in your calendar. I did not send you an email. That's no worries. That's good. Got it. Awesome. So great session. Have we yes. signed off on everything? Uh, I, I think, think we're ready that. to sign off on the last two. Is that correct? I believe so. Yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable signing off on the last two. Okay. Well, it's, it's recorded on the video stream, so we can't deny it. Right. And Andy, I, um, I'm going to send you a couple of links for the auger that's up to date. Just wait to get to that. We can set up time to talk next week. That's awesome. All right, I'll send you those an email and uh, catch you guys later. Okay, have a See great you. day. Have a good weekend, everyone. Great session. See you guys. Bye. See you later.